I don't know, what if we, what if we got rid of this gusset material and some of this top facing so it doesn't bite your ankles as much? I don't know, maybe just slim this thing down a little bit. It'd be like a Nick sneaker. As many of you know, here at Nick's Boots, we're known for boots. So how do you turn a boot into a shoe? Well, you just take a Robert or a Ranger and you just cut the top off and you make it into a shoe. That's what we've done for years. This is our Manito boot, shoe, shoe boot, whatever you wanna call it. It's perfect for those that love the 55 last and the arch support and just want something shorter. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's really perfect for flexibility and walking and comfort. It's got a little baby gusset in there, which, you know, prevents moisture from getting in, but it's highly unlikely that you'll actually be submerging a shoe like this. It does have a reinforced top facing here, but on a three inch boot like this, it does offer some of that sturdiness that we have in all of our boots, but you know, honestly, that may interfere with the ankle a little bit. That got me thinking, what if we could kind of strip this thing down and make it into a, uh, I don't know, like a Knicks, a Knicks tennis shoe. Well, gosh, that seems to be just about perfect. Today, I'm happy to introduce the, it, it doesn't have a name. You know, when we do these videos, we never have names, but this is our first shoe boot that actually is really good for city environments and walking. It's got a little bit slimmed down Vibram crepe sole. It's their 2060 sole, which has a little bit less heel to toe drop compared to the Vibram 2021. And here's what we did with the vamp. We actually made the tongue as part of the vamp. So you don't have to deal with that really short gusset in a short boot. And I think one of the main features here is we took away that reinforcing up there at the ankle area. This is just straight leather here. There's not even a stitch line. So this is designed to optimize ankle comfort. We also took this little baby back stay and this external heel counter and we just went ahead and we combined the two. Is this actually gonna walk and flex like a sneaker? Absolutely not. The 2060 sole is still pretty firm. It's built with a leather veg tan insole, just like all of our boots. It's nail bottom, just like all of our boots, and it's got a leather midsole, just like all of our boots. However, on the wedge sole version with the 2060 sole, you are gonna get a little bit thinner forefoot that gives you a bit more flex than the standard 2021 sole. So does that mean that our Manitos and our Comstocks are no good? Absolutely not. They're perfect shoe boots. If you love your Roberts and your Rangers and your Builder Pros, these are essentially just shorter versions. They've still got the gusset, they've still got the top phasing. But if you're looking for something that's just a little bit easier to get on and lace up and go for more casual applications, this is definitely something to consider. Well, what if I love this idea, but I don't necessarily love the wedge sole? Well, we're always two steps ahead. We're also gonna build this with a single leather heel stack. You can get it in the V-bar sole. And if you like mock toes, we're also gonna offer it in the mock toe configuration. Now this stacked heel is one layer compared to all of our other ones. This gives it a more streamlined profile. And again, a little bit less bulk in the heel if that's not your cup of tea. So if you're looking for something like our Traveler with the 2021 sole, or even the Aldert with the 2021 sole, or you like our Comstocks and Manitos, but you're just not a big fan of how stiff that sole can be, you need something for urban environments, this is definitely a boot to consider. Why is naming boots so difficult? I wonder if we should just call it like the Nick Streetwalker. Probably not. Oh yeah, that does have some negative connotations. I wonder if people would be willing to recommend some names in the comments below.